Hey guys, so I'm currently at a client's house waiting for them to get here. So I have a bride and a bridesmaid. So I just have my setup and I'm in her bedroom. I'm in the bride's bedroom and I just set up along here. I did bring my light. So hopefully I will get some footage of them or at least some pictures. Sometimes I don't even have time for that. But it is a late wedding. I think they have to be ready by 8. So pretty good. Usually you have like 8 a.m. weddings. This one's a nice late one. So yeah, I'm kind of hot right now and I haven't even started. So I'll see you guys in a few. So another day, another package. I got this bag from Estee Lauder. I love working with Estee Lauder. They're so generous. They're so kind. They're understanding. I just, they're a huge company. So I don't even know what's in here. Let's open this up together. I have been so bummy all day trying to clean out my room. Oh my gosh, I see so many goodies. Let's see. First up, oh my gosh, we have an Aaron Amber Musk. And I think this is the perfume. <gasps> Yay! So this is a brand Aaron. I always see this at Nordstrom. And actually, I think one of you guys told me about this and told me to get this. This is the body cream. This is the body wash. Oh my gosh. This is the Estee Lauder Set and Refresh Makeup Mist. I feel like no one has even talked about this. Estee Lauder came out with a, a setting spray. What? And it looks so good. I love the packaging. Yes. I'm so excited. Makeup makes me so happy, guys. I'm sorry, not sorry. We've got the Double Wear Nude in Tawny. So they actually sent over the perfume. Are you kidding? Look how pretty it is. It has like a stone on top. Amber musk. I just sprayed some. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla musk. Like it's not too musky where it's like manly. Oh my God, it smells so good. What does this smell like? I have some that's, that smells similar, but not quite. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up the, um, the notes, but now I have the cream, the wash. Ooh, so luxe. And the perfume. I'm done. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really excited. <laughs> this is Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme. Ooh, what is this? Global Anti-Aging Power Cream. This is a moisturizer. I'm all here for some moisturizer. This is the Revitalizing Supreme Eye Balm. Like, how pretty is this right here? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And they sent over the facial. I'm doing this right now. I don't care. I'm putting it on right now. This is the anti-aging line. And it's honestly gorgeous. All these products. Look how pretty. Here is another Erin product. This is the Rose Lip Conditioner. I feel like you guys have told me about the brand Erin before. And then last but not least, this is the Smoother. This is a Universal Perfecting Primer. Bomb. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Estee Lauder. You guys are amazing. You spoil me. I just, I literally can't wait to just put this all on. <laughs> I'm going to use the mask right now. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. Hourglass. You really outdid yourself with this one. How sleek is this? Like, I just feel like sexy vibes coming out of this. I'm gonna play with these. I'm gonna see which ones are my favorites. I can't wait to like load one up. It's gonna be so cool. Is this two of them? Oh, I hope it's two, one for my bag. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna play. I just wanted to show you guys that Hourglass came out with this. You guys have probably seen it, but I'm really, really excited. This is what I do at what time of it? Midnight. <laughs> Swatch. Swatch fest, watch party. Can't wait to show you with you guys like which was my favorite. I'm all the way here for this. I love, love, love this idea and concept. Thank you, Hourglass, so much. Next up, we have a package from Luxme, as I call it, LXMI, or yeah, whatever you want to call it. It's such a pretty box. I want to keep this. It's just Lux. I don't know. I really like it. So in here we have the Pure Nilotica Melt. I love this balm to oil. This is amazing if you have really dry skin. Like if you have dry patches, this comes in so handy. I love this in the fall especially and in the winter. Like it just literally saved my skin last year. So I'm excited for that. And then they're so cute. They sent over like a washcloth. Use this cloth to remove makeup or drape on top of pillow to protect linens. Oh. Until Pure Nilotica Melt absorbs fully. So I actually have a hard time finding like cloths which is weird but this one feels really good and i like that it's 
black, like it's dark, so that when you put your makeup on it. Ooh, and what's in here? Oh my gosh. That is so cool. It's like a... This is an Elodica? Is this the actual... Oh my god, wait. I think it says in here. What the... They really thought this through, huh? Lux Me Pure Nelotica Melt contains 50 of these nuts. That's it. Our balm to oil may feel like a high-tech emulsion, but it's just one ingredient. 100% USDA certified organic vegan cruelty-free botanical butter. And then this really pretty pin. I love that. That is so dope. So 50 of those are in this. And that's it. That's pretty freaking awesome. No wonder it does amazing things for your skin. So thank you so much. I love this. I need to set it up prettier and do maybe like an Instagram post because this is so worthy. I'm gonna put this away and take a picture of it tomorrow <laughs> when it's daytime and I have better lighting. Next up we have this awesome package from H2O Plus. I love getting the boxes because you know what you're getting because it's literally all over the box. Peekaboo, I've been waiting forever to see that. This says, feeling dry baby? Go to milkthatbody.com for some moisture. Password butter. Ooh. <laughs> Yes, I am feeling dry actually. How did you know? Milk body wash. Let's smell it. I'm compelled to smell it. Like, what does milk smell like? I actually don't like the smell of real milk. I'm actually not a fan of milk in general, but I, I do eat cheese, which is terrible. I think I need to use a scissor. Guys, this is like, this should be called like Rose tries to struggle with things and waste our time. Ooh. Okay, so it actually doesn't smell like real milk. I was hoping it wouldn't, because that's kind of odd. But it smells very fresh, like clean. I don't know, it just smells like a, like a body wash. It's enriched with vitamin E and milk thistle extract. So load up the loofah, and remember, there's no use crying over spilled body wash. <laughs> I like that. Cool, okay. What's here? Let's see what we got. This is the H2O Oasis Hydrating Booster. <gasps> Ooh, and we have the Illuminating one as well. I know I love Sarah E was using these. I don't know if she's like a brand ambassador for H2O, but her skin is nice and she has dry skin like me and I've seen her use this. She like pumps them in and mix it in with her moisturizer. Look how dope that is. Focus, there we go. How cool is that? Yes, please. I'm gonna put that in, mix it in with um, like an oil or a moisturizer before makeup. That sounds heavenly. <laughs> so cute. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> like the Enrique Iglesias song. Ooh, look how cool that one is. Sorry, my sound effects are probably really annoying. I'm excited. It's okay for me to be excited, right? And I'm using my Sony. Okay, Sony, I see you with the focus. Even though you don't want to focus sometimes. H2O Oasis Quench the Day Hydrating Mist. Oh yeah, baby. I need that on my face and my client's faces. <laughs> Hydrating mist. Yes, please. What's this cute little thing right here? Water infused hydrating gel eye masks. Oh my gosh, yes. These are bomb to put in your kit and use. Like just eye masks in general on yourself, but on your clients? Give them that extra wow factor. Use an eye mask on your brides. And what's in here? It's so cute. Milk body butter. Ooh, best of beauty allure. This is gonna be the, probably the same scent as this one. It smells so good. Ooh, that's huge too. So we got the body wash, the body butter. Wow, doing this with one hand is, it looks easy, but it's really not. And this is another milk body butter. Oh yeah, two. Oh yeah, so one is going to you. I'm gonna put this in my giveaway bag basket, whatever that I like try to, what am, what am I saying? I try to like compile, no. I try to gather <laughs> a lot of things so when I do a giveaway, I have supplies to give you guys. So anytime I get doubles, they go in that bag. Thank you so much H2O Beauty. I can't wait to try this. Ooh, I love bath products. You guys know I've always been a bath product junkie. These look so freaking good. Can we do my makeup and feel super hydrated? So thank you, H2O Beauty. You guys are the bomb. Okay, so I know this looks like a weird setup and there's a mess in the back, but I wanted to do this on camera. So this is the new Sephora Collection Black Magic Makeup Remover Cloths. So it says that you dampen the cloth with warm water. You apply cleanser to the cloth if desired. Use the teardrop shaped end to cleanse the eyelid and brow area and the smaller end for the lash area. You just need water, I guess, or add cleanser if you want, but like, I don't want. <laughs> so let's just try water. So I'm gonna try 
this side first. The black magic. Okay. I did a couple of layers of eyeliner, so let's see. Ooh, it's actually coming off. I do have like a full face of makeup right now. Okay, so there's like a bunch of glitter. I think this is better if you just had like something simple because I still have to go in with something because I have like all this glitter there. I mean, it took it off, but I think with a cleanser would be better. What do you guys think? <laughs> is this a gimmick? I was going to do like a first impressions on it, but I wanted to like see first if it worked. Yeah, I think I'll stick to my cellar water and my eye makeup remover. Hey guys, so I'm back and I'm with Charlie. Hey. We're on our way to an event, feeling bad weird. Mm -hmm. Something about today is just off. Right. Our makeup, we're just not feeling it. Look at us like this. <laughs> we're trying to get the light when you're trying to get that good lighting. So we're on our way to a Bobby Brown event and I'm out of my comfort zone with this lip and these lashes and Charlene just threw on this dark lip in my house. I know. And <laughs> but I, I love it. I had like a nude lip on. I think that's you know, kind of weird. <laughs> she came into my house with nude and she walked out with like a burgundy bappy lip. That's what happens when two makeup besties get together. We were like, let's just put a little more glow, a little more blush, and then we end up looking like two payasas, but it's all right. <laughs> we'll be good. It'll look good in pictures, so. True. We'll see you guys there. It's mad gloomy, gloomy AF, so we're like a little off, but we're gonna make the best of it, and I hope they have a drink. Honestly. Because we need three. <laughs> Alrighty. We made it! This is like what they're launching. Lip crush. So their new like lipstick. They're supposed to be like crushed pigment. Ooh! <laughs> I'm over here just touching. I help myself. Lip crush, lip crush. Whining. 
<laughs> hey guys, so today is Thursday and I am on my way to the city again. So I literally got ready in 20 minutes. So the key to getting ready super fast when you don't want to do your makeup is put on a bowl lip. So I did Smashbox. Um, I think I have it. I hope I'm ready. Yes, I did. It is Smashbox. Bang, bang. So good. I love the Smashbox Liquid Lipsticks. They're one of my ultimate favorite formulas. Certain colors over others, they're like smoother, but basically I didn't have much time to get ready. Sorry, the lighting is terrible. Sorry, the lighting is on this side, so I just moved this way. So I didn't have much time to get ready, so I just threw on the lip. I have on these Celine. Are they Celine? Yeah, Celine um, aviators. I always think they're Tom Ford, but I think they're Celine. So I threw those on. They're very similar to the key. high keys and gold. I have to clean them. Um, and I just threw on this shirt. This necklace I just got from by Lolita. It's just an R. I love it. And um, yeah, I'm showing a little bra today. A little risky. I need to buy some camisoles, like lacy ones, because I don't have any. Literally, my way of doing it is just showing my bra. Which is terrible, because if you have like a chest, you know how hard it is to wear a button-up button up shirt. It just doesn't work. So, I'm like a double D, so yeah, well, that. I have to just keep it open. Sometimes I'm a double D, sometimes I'm a D, it depends on the bra. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here in New York. I don't feel as sick today, like I don't have bad allergies, which is awesome. Because it rained and it's like nice and sunny today, so we're actually on the bridge. And it's so pretty out. It's like sunny, it's just perfect. Look at that. It's gorgeous. These are the days that I love New York. So, I'm on my way to a skincare event for Dr. Zoe for their new product. It's a primer, so I'm excited about that because it's a poor refining one. Cardi B playing in the background. Yes. So, I'm just enjoying the ride today. I'm very chill. I'm not anxious for some reason. I'm just relaxed. I'm in like a zen state, so. And that's, that's what's going on. I don't have a pedicure today, guys, so they will have to see these toes. <laughs> but whatever. I'm excited to be going. So there's no traffic, which is great. I'm just having a, a great day. I'm having a great, great day. And I'm very happy about that. And it really makes me sad that, you know, in other parts of the world, like so many, even the parts of the country, so many crazy things are happening. So if you're in Florida, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, any of the islands around there, any of the Caribbean islands, um, I'm praying for you. And it's just crazy how everything's happening at once. Um, but I've been talking to you guys. I mainly do things like that on Snapchat. Like, I know sometimes I seem at my name, but I'm always on Snapchat talking about whatever, like everything. So check me out on there because that's where I'm a lot more active as opposed to Instagram. But I'm, I'm praying for everyone and my family is actually in Florida, so I'm constantly reaching out to them, making sure they're okay. So when you move to the other side of the Uber, because it has a better lighting. I mean, look at this view, literally. Like, you can't beat this. They look so much better in person. I don't know. It's like they look so small on the camera. It's so pretty out. Look at the sky. It's like one cloud. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a great day. It's a great day to have a great day. So this is the new product that I'm here for. This, so this is what the event is all about. This is the Zoe Essential Infant Pore Refiner. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm gonna vlog anyway. So this is the product, and I'm actually gonna enter to win one of the giveaways. So they have like a bag, an ear cup, Louboutins. So I'm going to enter myself. Less pores, more selfies. Yes, she. Yeah, uh, just like your hands. <laughs> your
your artistry. Thank you. but my texture is not so I have a really low texture number which means I have a, a lot of small pores so I always thought I had big pores but I don't see this picture right here that's me I have a lot of little ones so he recommended some products for me basically he was saying like that I get oily which is crazy because I'm dry but my pore size is good so I'm excited about that but I don't have large pores I have small ones but a lot of them so I gotta work on my texture which is why I'm not wearing highlights today guys <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go get me some products to help me with the situation and try to get that texture number up cleaning my sunglasses and listening to tarot card readings <laughs> um, at 2 o'clock in the morning I'm watching tarot card readings course on Scorpio because I like this stuff this is kind of like a thing oops, kind of like something I don't really share with you guys too much I mean I talk about zodiacs but I actually do love watching her um the quietest revolution bomb and I'm literally just cleaning my sunnies I might sell these Celine's still thinking about it and I also have these back here Tom Ford that I might sell and then I also have some in here, all of our peoples that I might sell. So I'm just kind of going through them, cleaning them with this solstice spray and just shining them up. So this is what I do at 2 a.m. on a Thursday. Well, technically Friday. <laughs> Neat freak or not. Oh, and this sunglass thing I got on Amazon, it actually has a cover, which I probably should cover so it doesn't get dusty, but I don't for easy access. Um, these I do have inside of here, the Key Kylie's. They get scratched, so even the case gets scratched so easy. Like, this feels so cheap compared to, like, Desi's nice case. Like, this is just, I don't know, not good. I just noticed I only have one of these. Oh, that's why, because the, never mind. I like the silver, I mean, what am I saying? I like the clear packaging that Desi came out with as opposed to this little, like, slippy one, like one of those clothy ones. I love the clear, and I hate this case. There's just, it's so bad. It's so cheap. It literally feels like a 99 cent, like, pencil case. I think a 99 cent pencil case is actually even better than this, but anyway. The glasses themselves are nice. They're not my favorite on. I don't know, but they're nice. They're the Key Kylie's, and they get scratched and dirty very easily. Actually, let me clean these, too. So, yeah, this is what I'm doing, organizing my room. Look what I found. Fenty Beauty. I'm about to go in right now. So, I'm at this Art & Co. event. Look how pretty. There's a doggy. There's a baby. <laughs> Look at the view, guys. It's sick. Look how cute. Little candy bars and flowers. 
I really love this shampoo. It's a thickening one. It makes your hair so voluminous. I love that one. I haven't actually tried this one. Atlantis, the moisturizing. Cool. Bel Air. Oh, I'm dying to try this one too. So they said I can make a goodie bag and I'm excited. So I'm gonna make one for myself. And I got a mimosa. Cheers. This is what she used on me. So good. Hey. Hi. You gonna get your hair done too? <laughs> what kind of hair you got? It's the main show here. It's my baby. Look at the view. Veramente, e come si dice, e quindi abbiamo aggiunto qualche nome. It's sick. Yeah. How pretty is this bathroom? So cute. That's one of my favorite products from R and Co. Ever. It's called High Dive. So good. So this is the entrance of the restaurant that I was just in. It's a store. Beauty and Essex. I love it here. So this is before with my makeshift DIY IKEA vanity. It lasted this long. It's been a good one. Um, I actually had someone install this for me, so I'm gonna see how I can remove these lights because they're kind of like bolted into the wall, and I have to make some space. So I'm excited for an upgrade. Good morning, guys. Look at this beautiful setup that we have here. For my beautiful bride, Annie. <laughs> She's in a robe. I don't want to film her too much. Not yet. I'll film her after. <laughs> this is the setup we're working with. I got my glam core. So we're here in the doctor's office. Look how pretty this painting is. Dope. I'm probably gonna have to come back to get my eyes checked. I've always had good vision, but you never know. Doing makeup sometimes, I get a little fucked up. Front row seat to <laughs> When you have astigmatism, it's almost as if it's like squeezed on one end. So like one side is steeper. Yeah, I remember a doctor telling me that I had like a football shape. Exactly. Literally a 3D rendition of what your cornea looks like. So what you can see, remember how we're looking for this kind of nice curve? Right. You're like really steep on that end and really steep on this end. Okay, so that's why. Like so uneven. Exactly. And that's why you have so much um, astigmatism. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to take a look up. Five, seven, six, four, five, two, nine, seven, eight, three, four, six, two, two, four, three, five. I'm going to be holding a class here, guys. It's in the works, so I'll be, of course, telling you guys about it here on YouTube, but probably first on Instagram so we're just working out some details and yeah just came to see the space and also to get this guy some new glasses <laughs> I need to come back and check my eyes out just in case just to be safe and he has a bunch of different eyeglass styles over there 
We got the cool popping floor, the nice artwork. You guys gotta come by here if you need your eyes checked or if you just wanna buy some sunnies too. But he also does this, which I'm interested in. Not for me, but it says it's called CRT. So it's basically like a LASIK, but without a surgery. So I gotta ask him about that. Adris from Television did it and also the NBC supervisor. So it's pretty cool. He's a specialist. He specializes. There he is. He works with New York Presbyterian Hospital. Um, and he gets people with, you know, specific situations with their corneas. He explains it a lot better. I'm no doctor, but he's basically popping. <laughs> so you gotta come over and check them out. We are here at the Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham event. And I'm with Miriam. She has the whole line on. Ooh, yes. I'm wearing a little bit. Just a little, little, little bit. Gloss. Oh, okay, a little gloss. This is cute. The highlight? Oh, okay, Estee Lauder. Still, still eye water. I need to get my hands on her back later. I'm living for this. I want this, like, right now. This I don't know really why. Really nice. I just, like, my, like, I'm calling for it. The bronzers look awesome. This is beautiful, too. The quad, the eyeshadows. Yes, yeah, Right, like, in the inner corner. Uh huh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The aesthetics in here. Water? Yes, thank you. We are obsessed with this highlight. Modern Mercury. So good. We're dying to put it on. I don't even want to <laughs> swatch it. I don't even <laughs> Right? Ruin the pattern. I that's know. true. We don't even know we were supposed to swatch it. That's why we haven't swatched it yet, but I promise you. You know guys, we would have. I want to like just right here. Yeah. Swatch it. Yeah. <laughs> so good. And that one's Miami and in the LA. We're just going to, I guess, jump right in. Yeah. If anybody, I don't know if anybody has any questions or if you want me to just talk about. Um, about each city look. How do you want to, how do you want to do this out? I don't you know, it's Okay, so I'll just dive in. Um, I mean, I'd like to start by saying thank you so much for, for coming today and for all of your support. You know, looking around the room, there's a few people here that I've met before and honestly, this is something that means an enormous amount to me and every time someone posts something, you know, it does mean a lot to me. I'm aware of absolutely everything. Look how good she glows. Oh God. Oh my God. I am dying. Yes. A little bit. Whoa. It's like the lighting is not too good, but damn, she's glowing. Yes, that's better. That side is way better. Yes. Okay, Rosita. We got this appetizer. We got our wine. We're vlogging. We like got Sophie. Camera. Thank you. It's a case. <laughs> it's a case? Yeah. Amazon. So what looked like a quick, easy change was not. So I currently just had my room painted white. So this is where we're at. My room is empty, my beauty room. So I am, I have a lot to do. I have a lot to clean up. Um, I need to you know, literally clean each individual drawer inside, all the makeup that goes on top. So wish me luck. This is what I've been doing for the past couple of days and will be doing for the next couple of days. So I have this amazing package from Too Faced. It's this cute little refrigerator. It was too cute not to share. You literally get this cute little shopping list, a little magnet, and then it opens up. And you get the peaches and cream collection. So I will be trying these products out, letting you know what I think. Thank you so much, Too Faced. Very generous of you guys. I'm really excited for everything. Hey guys. So I feel like the last time I vlogged was a pretty long time ago. Um, I've literally just been trying to fix up this room, get it ready for you guys. I took this chance, like with this whole mirror situation that I vlogged, to really just fix my room up. Um, even if it's just like a temporary room, I really want to make it like the best quality for you guys So painted the whole thing. We're fixing it up making it really nice. I bought like a Marble circular painting kind of thing that I need to look at to see if it goes like I'm literally just trying to remodel it Nothing crazy like it looks similar. It just looks like cleaner and brighter 
and I also am um, I also I also am going to be putting in new lights so I'm really just taking this like little break time to fix it take a breather and get back on track even better and stronger so that's literally what I'm doing but right now it is currently nine o'clock in the morning it feels like it's later I got my Starbucks I got a big boy today because I'm actually on my way to go do a wedding so no makeup just mascara and my hair got a little wet so it's getting a little weird um, but yeah that's pretty much it and then after I have to run a couple of errands I always am running errands but I bought the table you see back there it's from the container store and it's too big so Ikea I'm gonna need you to not discontinue the Lindman table like there's no other places that make that size table like I know you can go get a custom one but it's actually harder than what it sounds like like I asked Home Depot if they can cut mine and they're like well like it has to be a wood like there's all this like shenanigans and I'm like I just need a 47 inch white high gloss tabletop with no legs so it's been annoying but whatever so basically I'm using another Ikea Linman table but it's not a high gloss because the high gloss one it chips very easily but I love the finish and it's easy to clean so basically what I'm saying is Ikea I need you to not do that but they already kind of did they already discontinued the high gloss and then the regular white finish is going to be next so if you have an Ikea near you and they still have it pick one up because they're going to get rid of it and it's like 20 bucks so you really can't go wrong anyway I'm over Ikea furniture other than just like vanity stuff like I literally just don't want Ikea furniture anymore i just i'm over i feel like it just it's not the look i want anymore so anywho i had bought that table and it's it was only like a couple of inches bigger than the ikea one and it was high gloss and i was like it'll fit but those six inches made a huge difference and it just doesn't fit it fits in my room but it, it's too much so it's going back and that's part so i got a couple errands to run afterwards i also bought some sunnies from bloomingdale's that i just didn't like the fit on I just always make this mistake mistake of ordering things online and not trying them on in store. <sighs> they don't actually have them in store. So yeah, I had to buy them online. I didn't like them. So I'm 22 minutes away from my destination. But I wanted to vlog today since I feel like you guys haven't really been seeing me. I've just been cleaning up, organizing. I think when, when my space is how I want it, I feel complete and I feel ready. So I'm excited for this little change to finally go through. I'm just waiting for a wall mount to come in and then I'll be done with everything. So that's about it for today. Today's Saturday and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. I'm only doing a bride. So hopefully I get to vlog her a little because usually when it's so chaotic in a wedding, when I have like seven people, I don't get to film. The makeup look like the finished look but today i think i will have a moment so i'll see you guys in a few how do you feel Don't gorgeous no, oh, they're ca calming or they're coming in no, they're not church. Church. yeah you look very calm because you look you're, amazing you're, you're very calm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey guys, so today is what's today's date? Today is the 19th, but it is Tuesday, and I am about to get a Hydra facial. So I'm at Park Avenue Aesthetic Surgery office and I'm about to get a Hydra facial. I'm very excited. I don't have much makeup on, so I just kept my glasses on. I just have mascara because they're gonna probably take it off anyway. So I'm excited because I've always wanted a Hydra facial. Like I've looked into it, but I just didn't know where to go. So I got the opportunity to come here and just get a Hydra facial and show you guys, like share with you my experience. And I'm really excited because the facials that I've gotten in the past involve a lot of like extractions and like redness after and stuff like that, like kind of like downtime. So this one's really just gonna be for like hydration, which I really desperately need because I'm dry and it's about to get real cold here in New York. So. I feel like a boy because I have like no makeup on. My hair is like super tight and a bony, but it's all worth it for some glowing, hydrated skin. So I'll be vlogging the whole experience and I'll let you guys know what I think. So this won't hurt. It's just gonna feel like a vacuum. Just sucking everything out.
let's see how bad my skin was. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad. So if it was what like like because normally I'll see things you can see like just oil and stuff in there. Normally mm. I see a lot more white stuff. You see that white stuff in there? Mm-hmm. I normally see a lot more. So I just finished my Hydra facial. Basically felt like suctioning, I guess. It didn't hurt, but look how glowy I am. She was saying that I have some pigmentation here, which I actually didn't notice until she noticed she pointed that out. I mean right now it's a little red, but I didn't even notice that I had like hyperpigmentation on my chin. So I need to figure that out. But um yeah, it's just a gloomy day. We are all set here. Skin is looking good. She's finally done. I could not be more ecstatic about this. I'm so excited. It's literally been a couple, I would say like almost two weeks, maybe a week and a half, just because I needed help mounting this because I actually have like a piece in the back that I bought um, that goes right back here that was mounted onto the wall this way it doesn't move. So it's like basically kind of like hung like a painting, but it's also leaning on the table. It is so pretty, so I actually broke one of the bulbs, like it just kind of broke in my hand. But isn't it so pretty? Let me show you guys. So it has a switch back here. Oh, by the way, it's Impressions Vanity. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. This is the glam one. This is like, I think the second largest one. Of course, I'll have it down below. This one is the kind of like landscape size one rather than the portrait smaller one. So this one's dimmable, so I'm gonna turn it on. This is it, I'm so excited. It's killing me that I need one more bulb, but I'm going to um, email them about that, but you have to be really careful when you're putting the bulbs on. You can't just like apply pressure because they, you know, they're LED like light bulbs and they are fragile. So you want to be careful, but the bulbs are huge. We basically had to sand. We had to put like filler inside the holes. Like it was a whole ordeal. Like there was electrical things that were inside my wall that had to be removed. So it was a process, but I'm happy it's done. And then it also has a dimmable feature. So really, really cool. And I'm not gonna use the white piece because it does come with like a board that you can put on here. It does come with that. Um, you don't have to mount it, but I decided to mount it because I need all the extra room possible on this table. Um, this is from Ikea, everything else is Ikea, but I'm so excited. It looks so much better. Like it looks so high quality and I can't wait to take pictures in the mirror. I just, I really can't wait to film with it. I'm very, very excited. So basically I have a long night just cleaning out all of my makeup. Take you a little tour, sneak peek. I feel like I need like something there, but I don't want to crowd the room. It's already kind of crowded, but I just feel like this looks empty. Let me know what you think, but I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Impressions Vanity. You literally made my vanity goals come true. This is like the best lighting you can have to get ready because it's not yellow, it's not red, but it's very bright and even. So you really get the best makeup application. The other mirror that I had kind of distorted things, so it looked like things were farther than what they were. Like it was just, you know, a cheap mirror. So this is like legit. Oh, and also it has these outlets over here. So you get two electrical outlets and then two USBs, which is perfect for charging my phone. So I'm excited. I literally just want to get everything on so I can like have my room ready. So, yep, I'm, this, is, this is what I've been waiting for to upload this vlog. So um, I don't know if there's gonna, yeah, they're probably not true, okay. I'm gonna go fix this room up. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. So since I am without a phone, basically no back camera, I'm pretty much vlogging like all my little hauls and stuff on my camera, on my Sony. So I had a long day today. I think it started at around one, but I didn't have my camera with me. So of course I wasn't vlogging myself, but I basically was the first stop I went to. I went to Staples, I had to fax something, and then I went to Home Goods and I forgot the receipt. I had bought a little table. Um, it's actually in the car, so I can't even show you, but I bought a table yesterday to put right over here. It was a small little table with a plant from Target and it totally just didn't go with this vibe. It didn't go. I just feel like this looks so empty, but anyway, I bought the table and I bought the plant. 
and I went to go either return it or exchange it, whatever, because they just don't fit in, er in any area. So I went to Home Goods with the table and I didn't have the right receipt. I ran out of my house so fast that I brought the wrong Home Goods receipt because, yeah, that's pretty much how my day started. So I should have seen that as a sign, but. I went to Target, I obviously went to Target, I returned the plant, it killed me because it was so pretty but I just don't have space for it and if we're going to be moving like I don't need extra stuff for like maybe later so I returned the plant but I ended up buying stuff so pretty much <laughs> it was kind of like the same price so I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I got at Target. So I got this Myers Clean Day um, spray, this is the limited edition scent for fall, it's the mum scent, it's amazing like i wish you guys could smell this i wish it had the feature where you can smell through the screen it smells let me actually open it it literally smells like perfume like fall pretty like but like girly perfume and it's the clean surfaces so it's a multi-surface removes dirt refreshes surfaces so i pretty much bought this just to like clean this surface so it could smell nice so i got that and i also got the matching hand soap for the bathroom so this is just the hand soap made with olive oil, aloe vera, and it smells amazing. So if you are in Target, definitely pick this up. They also have a dish soap, and they also had a candle. So I think I'm going to go back for those two. And these were both $3.99, which is amazing. I got my favorite gum ever, which is the Orbit 3-Pack Sweet Mint. It's the only gum I ever chew or buy. Like, if someone offers me gum and it's not that, like, I'm literally just not happy. <laughs> and then I got my favorite nude, um... Like liquid lipstick, I guess. Lipstick. This is NYX London. It's one of my favorites. I love this so much. So I got that. It's kind of crazy because I actually went to the NYX store. Um, but I think I'm going to save the NYX part for a haul that I'm that's coming up. Like a makeup artist haul. So these are the Demi Wispies in a pack. I needed this for tomorrow's wedding. Just in case somebody wants a natural-ish lash. And then I got these Roto Maximum Redness Relief um, eye drops. So my cousin in Florida actually uses these. And his eyes are always super red. I wonder why. But <laughs> he uses these to take out the redness. So I think he uses the other pack. The icy one. But I just got this one because it said Maximum Redness Relief. And sometimes my eyes are really dry and red. And I hate when they look like yellow or not bright white when I'm filming videos or taking pictures. So I picked that up. And I think that's it. Oh, and and one more lash from Target. These are just the Demi Naturals. Really cute. I love Ardell lashes. That's everything I got at Target. I went to MAC. I back to MAC. Six items. And I picked up Oyster Girl. Because I gave one of mine, like a new one, to a client. Um, kind of like as a bridal gift kind of thing. So here's Oyster Girl. It's a really pretty, like, frosty pink white. So that's that. And then I went to Sephora and I got the Fenty Hugging Cheek Brush. This is the highlight brush. So I'm excited to try that. I was going to get the foundation brush too, but I didn't, um, I don't know. I just was iffy about it. And the foundation shade that I wore in the Fenty video is 240, but I think it's oxidizing a little bit too dark or like they say, drying down too dark on me. So I might have to get another shade that's a little bit lighter. And then I just redeemed 100 points. I literally have so many of these. I always redeem points. When I see a nude lipstick or like a pinky kind of color this one's from makeup forever it's shade 105 whenever i see something like this at sephora points like in the vib place i always redeem and then i put it in this jar with all of my you see look i have a bunch of them um this is from the last one this was 100 points i always redeem them because these are like my little bridal um color like lipstick giveaways so like when i have a bride i'll give them um a similar lip or if i have the exact lip i'll give it to them so they can touch up I've had the wackiest day. I went to three Rickies looking for Lily Lashes because I'm a slacker and I forgot to order my Lily Lashes for brides. So I got the Blinking Beauté. These are number fours. They're not as dramatic as I'd like. So I'm gonna bring individuals with me just to add if I need to. And then I got these Lily Lashes um, in Divine. So on the website they're 20, but in Rickies they're 25, which I think is annoying and then these are usually 30 and they're 35 in the store annoying so i just got those three lashes this one is number five pretty so i got those three lashes and just this angle gel liner number 77 obviously 107 dollars, and that's with a ricky's discount like what it's crazy that's because these two are 35 and 35 
yeah so that was my day i went to the apple store um originally i think i got there let me see i have the text message to prove my crazy day so i got there at 6 49 okay 6 49 and they told me two hours so i'm thinking you know maybe like 8 49 right so i told them my camera wasn't working and they told me fine two hours you have to wait so i said can i go somewhere and come back they said sure so i'm Going around the city, because I have two hours, right? So I'm going to Ricky's, finding lashes. Um, I basically am on 30-something and Broadway. And I remember, the, the Apple Store, if you're not from New York, it's on 59th and 5th Avenue. So it's a good, like, 25-minute car ride, which I was taking Ubers everywhere. But I get a text message saying, we're ready for you. And mind you, this is at 8 o'clock. Actually, no, at 7.29, we are able to move your session. Please wait for a message around 8.05 before returning to the store. So I said, yes, give me some more time because I needed more time. And it was like, okay, we're ready for you. You have 10 minutes to get here. You guys, I couldn't even take an Uber back because I wasn't going to make it. I jumped on the train and I ran. I got there in 12 minutes, like three train stops and like four blocks running. I got there and I sit down and I, you know, I wait 10 minutes. I explain to the guy what's going on, that my camera's not working, my battery's dying fast. And he's like, you know what's crazy? We just stopped taking appointments. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's 59th Street, 5th Avenue store, it's 24 hours. He was like, yeah, but tomorrow's the iPhone 8 launch and we're stopping as of two minutes ago. And I'm like, really? Like, you can't just do me a favor? Like, I have a wedding tomorrow. I need my phone, like the camera, just in case I can take pictures or something. He's like, yeah, no, like we don't have time. So you have to come back tomorrow and we're not going to give you a new phone. We're just going to change your camera but i'm like but my front camera's acting weird and my whole phone is just acting crazy like it turns off the battery doesn't last and he's like yeah i'm like okay well thanks so much for the help as someone who worked at the apple store i feel like things have changed so much but i'm not even gonna get into it point is i went to the apple store for no freaking reason i gotta go back there tomorrow and i gotta go to home goods tomorrow so i've been out all day it is currently 11 o'clock and I got a couple things done, but not everything, and that bothers me. But that's besides the point. I'm going to run and pack my bags. I got to go to sleep soon. I have an early morning uh, wedding, so I will see you guys tomorrow. This vlog's probably going to be long because it's a combination of a lot of days because I was waiting for this vanity to be done. So, that's it. <laughs> Bye. China, what the race to China? Just the race in China? So bad training, bitch, but she mixed with China. Real thick vagina. Bubble bricks is up. So I just got this really pretty arrangement from Bloom Luxury, the ultimate handcrafted experience. Look at these gorgeous flowers. I mean, come on. And if I'm not mistaken, they come straight from the mountains of Ecuador. And they're so pretty. I can't wait to actually put them in a vase that I just bought today. And they're just so, so unique. Look how gorgeous. So these are really pretty. I mean, they have white, they have pink, they have all types of colors. Um, you can choose two colors, like blue flowers and white flowers, but they surprised me with these gorgeous ones. Very unique. And after a crazy, hectic, stressful week, this is just what I needed. Some really pretty flowers. So thank you so much to Bloom again. You guys are so awesome. And flowers do truly cheer someone up. Even if you're not into flowers, I feel like still when you receive them, you just instantly get happy. But luckily, I am someone who loves flowers. So thank you so much. My gosh. This is only a couple of them because the rest of them are in my living room. I have like the taller ones on a taller vase. Thank you, Bloom, for sending these over. I love them. Straight from Ecuador. From a fellow peruana. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this short because I don't really feel comfortable talking about it right now. Um, I'm okay. Everything is, I would say, okay. Something happened in my personal life. And I've been completely MIA. I'm talking, haven't answered text messages, phone calls, emails. I have, I had to, but I have not been on Snapchat, Instagram, no vlogging, like little bits here and there. But these past couple of like five days, nothing. 
absolutely nothing which is why this vlog is so long so i'm really sorry i know some of you guys like it but i'm sorry for those of you who don't so if you made it this far thank you so much from the bottom of my heart but it's just been a rough time um some personal issues and it has nothing to do with the relationship i hate when people think i'm down or i'm mia because of a relationship no like i would first of all never let that get in between me and my job and my passion it's something else but um with god you know we will get through this hopefully so it's just been a couple of crazy days i don't even feel like talking about it like i literally just want to get back to youtube like beauty stuff because it's like my escape and i've felt so off these days but besides what's been going on i also went to the doctor for myself and um i was having a lot of ear pain now this has been a struggle for me for a really long time like i'm talking years maybe like two three years where i have really bad allergies which is true i do but i get this really bad ear pain so this whole area feels swollen and i have had ear infections in the past from like vacations but it just felt like something more like my jaw clicks and i get headaches which i'm allergic to pain medication so i can't pop any pills so I've just been feeling really sick these days. So I ended up walking into the urgency, uh, what is, not urgency, walk-in urgent care, like medical center. It's like a hospital, but not really. It's pretty empty. And I told him about my ear. He was like, your ears are super clean. They're looking great, but I know what you have. And I'm like, what? And he's like, TMJ, also known as TMD. It's something to do with your jaw. I used to grind my teeth a long time ago before my braces years and years and years ago but i didn't think i still did it because i don't notice it but i guess i do it in my sleep and it's causing me tmj especially in my right side so i never really noticed how swollen like this area would be but i even went to like a thyroid doctor to check my thyroid they told me my thyroid was inflamed so for a while i thought i had lymphoma it's been crazy i have so many doctor's appointments to make tonight i'm gonna literally sit there and just schedule out like dermatologist allergist thyroid um, endocrinologist primary like just all my doctors to get like all my blood work and all these tests done but i'm also considering getting botox in my jaw for the tmj because yes you can get like massages acupuncture there might be like guards like sleeping guards for your mouth but i've read so much on it and i'm gonna try everything but you know i'm not scared of getting like a botox shot just right back here so that i don't grind my teeth when i'm stressed out because it's causing me so many other problems i didn't even notice like when i eat i don't chew too much which you know obviously i've struggled with my weight and i don't really talk about it too much but i have been struggling with my weight especially since i became vegetarian because i'm so used to eating carbs I'm like all over the place right now. I feel like I have to talk to you guys, but I'm so used to eating carbs. Like when I used to eat chicken, I would eat it with rice or pasta. I would eat it with chicken. And I was so used to eating like smaller portions, but with a protein, like with a chicken, that now I'm just like double carbs, which is terrible, which is something you don't want to do. And I'm just honest with myself. Like I know I've messed up, you know? So I've gotten to this point where I need to get healthy, like lose weight and, you know, maybe take you guys along with me on this journey. But this whole like diet thing like eating habits have to go like but i noticed that i wasn't eating too many vegetables because it hurts to like chew like it's it's like a pressure back here and i never really put two and two together because no doctor has ever brought it up to me tmj like my jaw you know this whole area so point is i feel relieved to know like i'm not crazy like this ear pain and this headaches that i'm getting and it just causes your whole, it's like debilitating like you really don't i it's i don't i get like sharp pains in my ears but i don't get sharp pain in my jaw but it does click and i, I always thought it was weird that it clicked but even like my back clicks so i just thought it was like either double jointed or something silly but i don't like to get personal too personal with the world because there's you know not so good people out there but i'm gonna trust that you guys are that are watching are my good people and they really care about me and that love me and that support me don't worry i'll be back to regular program i'll be back because you know makeup is my escape and this is my job so i do rely on youtube so yeah i'm gonna leave it here i don't want to be sad but you know things go on in my life and you may not know the whole story so like before judging somebody like just always give them the benefit of the doubt <clears throat> Ooh, I'm crying over here. <laughs>
I'm a very emotional person, a water sign to the fullest, so I don't want to cry. I don't like crying in front of people, but, you know, it's okay to be vulnerable, and I just want to tell people that, like, this is a life motto that I go by, like, to treat everybody with respect and with kindness, because you never know what they're going through. So maybe you see someone in the street, and they're looking crazy, or they're looking angry, or they're looking sad, or they're looking down, or they just put on whatever, like... Never judge them because you never know what they're going through and always give them a smile and give them happy positive thoughts and give them a second chance because you just never know. And you never know, God forbid, it might be you in that position and, and you feel that way and then you actually understand like it's best to be nice to everyone you meet and anyone you encounter just give them, you know, warmth and positivity and love because it truly makes a difference and you never know what people are going through so yeah i'm gonna leave it on that so i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video it'll be a beauty video i promise i have a haul and all that coming up because you know i've had some downtime and i've been on youtube and i'm like where are the hauls where are the favorites videos so i will be back with those i love you and i'll see you in my next one bye guys